greetings from the farm. Thanks again for joining us here on the Mondo Farms channel. My name is Joseph Olotia and it's time for yet another update in the 2022 onion story here at Mondo Farms. Now, I'm standing at Dubai and behind me there you can see this beautiful crop of uh, onion and we'll be talking a little bit about that. And on the other side is these empty beds. So in this video, we're going to be showing you the story of what exactly has been going on here at Dubai. Stay with us. So here is our first crop that we've planted here at Dubai and this one as the crop poster will tell you is a bit of red creole we'll look at it just a second but first we start with a sort of overview of the four blocks that we have here at Dubai um, one is this one where the onion was transplanted and then we have the other block that sort of goes along the edge there just in front of these trees it's a bit weird shaped block but it, we have to follow the land that we have this is block A, and then we have B, and then C is over there. I'll, be, I'll take you there uh, later on. And then at the last there on the other side of the car there is block D. So Dubai is a small plot. It's around about 0 0.4, 0 0.5 hectares. And it's all going to be filled with onion very, very shortly. But let's start with our current crop. So this onion is a Starkeyes Red Creole. Starkeyes is a, uh, a seed, seed, seed manufacturer that we trust very much here on here at Mondo Farms. And uh, we've grown this Red Creole before. And uh, the pricing of the thing was very good. Many, 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 many thanks to the team at Starkeyes. And uh, let's look at some of the dates. We had sown this originally in the nursery bed on uh, back in end of November. Then we transplanted it here in uh, middle of February. And it's been growing ever since. Now the growing of this crop mandini, our uh, active Vodamu, planting uh, crops in rain season is always, always going to be a challenge. So it's uh, certainly taught us a few lessons in terms of all the issues that we have with uh, growing onion in the, in the rain season. The idea of course is to try and catch the market, but there's a reason why um, it's hard. There are many, many reasons why it's hard. We have a lot of um, pressures um, disease pressure as well as weed pressure. So let me take you back and uh, take a quick look at some of the history of this crop from where it has come and some of the, the issues that we've been and a lot of the work has actually been done here. So, you are shy, I move on a tractor, man. But the nearby age. Okay. So in Ngatitika Mamsangu, the matrizi, here for the mameni mo age moja. At least to kwambi la kwambi ne poja mo ipanga. Ii to kari kii. Because I remember the idea yenze yao ya nesa yenze. Sorry, ya onion yenze wo mo na wo mo kusi kufikira kulast. Landi ati ni pati. Yeah. That's why I'm on a castle. Pano. Ponica. Papa took up Manzi. 
So if you could pack my bed, the stiff Ah, after the stiff after that, I'm going to have to spend some money to broke your road. Uh huh. I'm going to pass a chance. I'm going to spend some money. I'm going to spend some money. I'm Mm -hmm. Joker. She puff at the Jerry. So I would just think I should get tired. I jerry for pants and that. I as I'm a gamba was a shame because I. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alicia Zivika. Then give na onion cones. Black is on a manual. I'm also not quite out of the pants. So, coming out of the uh, main fence here on the southern side, and we come out to Dubai. And if you watched the program where we were using the TLB, then you might recognize this place. Uh, in case you didn't watch the program, here's a link. Here's a link. Here's a link. Link, 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 link. And here we have this nice, beautiful, fine tilth um, land that's been ploughed, ploughed the other day by the tractor. We had hammered and paraquat before, and then we did the, 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 the ploughing. And the guys are now making the beds. If you remember where we are, we're talking about this place, which is going to be filled with uh, pine trees in the next few weeks or so. We've quite a little bit of a break in the weather, so we're glad to be able to come out here. It's been raining quite relentlessly. And of course, we had Tropical Storm Anna come through and wreak her particular brand of havoc. And that's how it is. So this is what we have in terms of beds of onions, starting here on this end. Put them on the road here. Leave some space. And then we have these one meter beds. Uh, and you can see they look hollow. Look, I can put my, my foot right inside. And what we're going to do here is we fill them up with compost. Fill it up with compost. And then uh, we cover them up and then we come and transplant. So we've got these beds going all the way down there. There's another little bit of area there. And then of course, on this side, let's see the car, we will put some more beds. So we're really getting on with making all of that area there. There's two kgs come into this 0 0.5, 0 0.6 hectare area here. So they started over there and then they'll be coming over into this section here. So 
so we're not crossing the uh, the road, so to speak. Here you can see it's a road. This is Africa. Come on. And we come into the second area, which also has beautiful clay loamy soil. And uh, should be getting one of the beds here. In my you Yeah. Yeah, uh, Okay. So I uh, so I've never worn shorts coming to the farm. I'm not brave enough. Can you handle it? Maybe not. Alright, so. Coming up this little hillock, which is up to our sort of end of our farm here. And the beds will come. Bro, did it? So you have to eat the pan, right? Yeah. Yeah. I can come to you. I can put it in my bed. I can put it in my bed. So this area will also have onion beds. And the guys will start working on it tomorrow. One of the things we were saying with this is that when it came to this hillock, the tractor, the day it came the other day, Tuesday, yeah, it couldn't manage to coming and plow up this hill it just wasn't enough to the two by four so I'll be doing these manually leave a little sort of gully to take water down into the thing and then fill up these things on you one of my favorite favorite things in the world is watching beds of onion especially down here in the riverside -ish area Whoa. The onion crop 2022 story has begun and uh, as ever we're excited we've literally just sold half the last of our onion ah uh, no second last there's still a little bit of uh, small mokubas left but the other day we packed up and sent over to the market our last of our red creole from last year got a bit of price and then we were getting a few months ago and that was the whole point of the whole storeroom thing, storage thing that we spent quite a bit of money on bit out of breath you can see the uphills and undulations but yeah we're happy I'm a first watch the level because I would be mouse Dubai Iwe, apa is having go juu you apa more even than Gina is having go juu and straight up my cat But if no sense among my Chinese, I didn't see the low. Lay low, not in my raw, lay low, not in brass that so connects. Faga ko, faga ko, faga ko bang.
Haklas buat tengge koi. Ah mana gua. Apa gap? Pemenu macam apa? Pemenu apa? Pemenu dia gap. Amboi. Hei. Bisa jumpi dah. Di Padu Bay. Padu Bay ni sahaja macam api swig. Chaplan. Just plotting. Onion. Mas ele está bom, né? So idea ya tu mami ni jaza kwa njia ya sana. Ok, sikira suti kari kwa kuti. So mza pia la pati. Ni bed ya meni. O mza nge na muli. Ok. That's ok. Siti funo siya pa half wine. Meaning osa yamba. Osa yamba ina mwena kambira maya. Osa yamba ina ango. Mkai bo at least ya fikira tu yonzi. Eh magwiza na che kwa mo ya fikira tu yonzi. Because mga tenga mafu hafu. Anga sile banja. Anga sile banja. Anga sile mafu hafu. Here at uh, Dubai. Checking on the transplanting of the. Uh, I have to keep looking down. Checking on the transplanting of the uh, onion. Uh, which you can see started yesterday. So the onion 22. 2022 story. Starts. And it is great. We're off to a good start. The nursery beds that we had nursed in uh, Riverside 2A over there have, uh, have now been placed over here with an issue with the size, where the size of the beds we had prepared was a lot bigger than what was actually the onion that we had. And also that we were delayed because of all the work that everybody was doing. So we transplanted them quite late. Should have been transplanted uh, quite a while ago. Number three is. Catch uh, oh, It's gone. It's gone. Totally gone. Hey. Right, crossed over into the other side. My block. It's an A. Then you can carry weird. You can B. C. Na D. Apa 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 paribet? Eh apa paribet? Epan paspin. Kaya. Isak kita saya buangji. Ayam beda, nampula ini. Oh, wow yang begini. Ayam macam apa ni dah? Dap mawi. Mawi di dap beram. The story continues back to the exciting part of um, planting onion, making things happen. This year is going to be a big crop for onion, despite the uh, recent disappointments on the market. We, oops, sorry. It's all happening here. The onion price. Uh, not having gone to where most of us farmers wanted. But hey, such as farming, it's never easy.
so you can see they are going eh? Douglas, <laughs> 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 Growth, what about my plants here? My onion so apa ni siyonse ya fona amini nzeri tu di motmo ni mono apa mlaini ni kongani mlaini oi kuna paya hapa na china nguchi hapa Which is to I Having a quick 
look at the uh, onion beds here at Dubai. Remember this was, that was planted a few weeks ago. And uh, it's doing well. It's growing reasonably well. We just are suffering from severe weed pressure. This is serious weeds. Very typical of rainy season. Uh, this is the kind of thing you find around this time of year. It looks nice and green, but the majority of it is actually just weeds. It's quite serious. So uh, we're going to be coming in tomorrow with uh, a selective herbicide that we use in onions called Oxyphen. That we buy from AgriFocus. Definitely farming with all its ups and downs, it's quite a challenge when you have uh, situations like this. Why does this happen? One is the time of year. Um, weed pressure, as we call it, is really, the stuff grows really fast. And then also there's a lot of pressure on the other areas of the farm. Uh, am I making excuses? Yes, no, maybe. It's difficult you know, to be understanding about how things happen in any working environment. So, on our side, we use a wheat sandy sanapia maning. So, Zafuna, afternoon, a bozro came of the charm oxfield. So, upon your name, one egg a manji. Batinga chaemo. Ona kama brandi wali wansa metinga spring ya metinga fakem. Ma brandi wafe trays. Spray it in my fucker five mils. Drum in fifty mils. Mom, not was here stitching. I'm for sending them. I'm mixing them. Well, I'm mixing them. Well, I'm not taking a name because it's not the same. We get a transplanting onion, not the same touch it. Do I just want to get a job with some ways. My pets are young. Ati. Hi. Young. My pets. When do you figure out just five meters? Eh? Yeah, I'm going to get a four people down. My thirty five. Then I'm going to get my. So thirty five. I'm going to get my thirty. Thousand two hundred square meters. This is a quarter, a tenth of a hectare. You use fifty mils. Uh, and Pamena, because Pamena, Kaidia Jack. 
So you need to buy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so you green soft mix and black yeah. <laughs> Any improvements? Check a date now, Faka. I'm going to put my green, my new mix. Green, eh? Mm -hmm. Then I should observe. Then general improvement. My own care. As in, how we can bring on the green. Yeah. Then how we can bring on the green. Yeah. Then how we can bring on the green. Yeah. Then how we can bring on the green. Yeah. Then how we can bring on the green. Yeah. Then how we can Monica, cool, my stems. Matenda, when it's a woman, to do your matenda. Is that chicken or sand? There's no one who can get into it. So my trips, eh? Yeah, you can smell So my trips, eh? You observe the shape, yeah. But you know, when you come home, you only get to get back. You only want you. You only get to One a cacona clean the Bema weeds in bad shape a cat. We have in the village to do in a matin, a son of baby. The punk of which was support to sap of foot, thirty besides the park of Capac and Navy of Ma Marie Messan. Muffin cap, Pitamo Pitamo, Sasira Mot. There's a motion of weeds in your mono, but I am a weed jelly mumbad. Now, any in between my beds are so the funga bulky in our cocoa. At least you could distance and go two to three meters away, which is even better. I pursue in between my lion, yeah, just here at the Bye. On your field. Okay. Panga mo mo neka clean mo. A class mo na wa sakal. Na yon duwe sakal ay. So izo na chizungu chacho makambat na po dozen four far from the street ay. Eh. 
Job well done. I'm there. Job well done. Choose that, my witness. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, I told you, come back in the morning, 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 so it's like a little foot to take him a weed, the manji. Wait at your serum bar in a packet, it's a little foot yam. Good. Pita must come. It's pity that we took. Put you to carry cotu. My three suit. Okay, Ni no week but only last week. Yeah. To carry go. I'm this. This week. What is that? Bam! My pizza na go buy. We must must go buy manji. You always remind them so much. Eh? Like Charlie and Marie, she could Eh? 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 Oh, and I'm wearing a mirror if we got a younger mass woman. But do a man. So these are the two types of weeds that we have. There is this one and there is that one. These two. So it's a fight against these two. Many. Why am I here? Yes, you can approach us, mommy. So you are only a mono tiambeko. Tiambukfaka manzo. Yeah, not do it, right? Not to as often our flashing light at first. Yeah, flashing. Shoot, they watch us up. They was a flashing. Yeah. Yeah. So I pay people. Dubai Red Kiryu I'm going to spray my weeds I'm going to spray my weeds I'm going to spray my weeds I'm going to spray my weeds
जयपुर में आई हूँ माफ्रीपसी Not my Rwadi ko swa ibe swa vizi. Sadi po jack jack ari po. Yeah. You can even speak to him on the phone, eh? Nemo, he's going back in with the same umeme. Wana tu uza yesterday, muzo au mkati na kuma wagono misa muzo kuzambi. At it's okay, kuchaya three times mkuwa. Yeah, mag. Because if we're not going to come back, no, it's only one, two, one, two, one, two. Ah, kaya mo. At least only one yambo kundi le sa ko wagi na. Ah, how do 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 I'm not spraying on my own name, but I'm not going to do it. 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 Kone kae, hilo nyo ni ambone ka green hai So as I like to say on YouTube videos, if you find value in what we're sharing, press a like button. That's like a thumbs up button there on the underneath the video. And also uh, subscribe to the channel if you can. And also comment below and share the video. So that's a quick look back at the history of this particular crop and everything that's happened from the time uh, when it was transplanted and all of the various challenges we faced up and down. It's been something that has taken a lot of effort to get it to look and be as it is and we're now at the stage whereby mm, at least in Tvambonega could bang a sense. And looking a little bit closer at the actual um, onion crop itself as it is. So as you know here at Mondo Farms, our standard practice is to plant on one meter beds. And first of all, I hope you can see the slope of the land. It's coming from the top of the hill up at Apex there, and it's coming all the way down this way towards the Chongo River that side. And so we plant, always plant against the contours against the thing so that the water that's coming is actually being trapped as it is and it can sink down into the into the soil and give your plants even more more nutrition so then we have these one meter beds here uh, with a half a meter ish uh, spacing in between as you can see and we look closer here at the onions themselves it's a red creole as we say so they are red bulbs it's one of the most popular um, varieties of red onion open pollinated so it's not a hybrid this is the original stuff part of our plan really this year has been to go with open pollinated uh, varieties towards the beginning of the, the season and then we will get into the hybrids um, a little bit later another thing we saw on the videos there was about how they had tried to control the drip tapes um, Drip tapes need to be held down because they blow around in the wind, especially when the, when the 
the plants are young, so you have to hold them down. So the original method was to use the muddy boy. So we try and use these stones here, but it's not very effective. So our farm manager Tyson made sure that the guys came through with the Akakan dam work. This one here. So this one is really helping. And then this is extra tape. Why didn't we cut um, this strip tape uh, to, the, to the right length when we put it here? It's because we reuse our drip tapes in different markets, different fields. So this strip tape was actually used on longer beds in another place uh, earlier, maybe last year or, or something. So, and we will still be using it later. So we would come and then they do this where it's tied up and then here it's just wrapped up and tied. Drip tape is quite strong, it doesn't easily cut. But you know, so hence we see these extra things here. And so this in Dumbo here, which is staked down, is actually helping. Another closer look at some of the onions and we can really see uh, finally the onion is establishing uh, are we bulbing yet? Are we bulbing yet? Are we bulbing yet? Let's have a look down there. I don't think so. No, not yet. I would say on this particular one. Of course, as with growth of any organisms, things are slightly different. But I think on this one we haven't yet reached the bulb. Here you can see little granules. Nivichani. This is a fertilizer that we use, a uh, top dressing fertilizer. We do a mixture in terms of our fertilization. Is that a word? Did I just make it up? You know I make a lot, make up a lot of words on these videos. So we use a mixture of, uh, we alternate between foliar fertilizer, as you saw in the video earlier, as well as granular fertilizer like this one. And this one is what we call broadcast. So broadcast is when they just basically uh, throw it down there, then it dissolves over time. So these little granules here are dissolving. And there's been some little bit of rain uh, the other day. So at least it's there. So the potency of those ones goes through. And the uh, top dressing fertilizer that we applied just the other day is uh, what we're using nowadays, uh, which is Green Self by Omnia. A very, very, very good um, fertilizer, top dressing fertilizer. Uh, that's got a lot of good, useful chemicals and ingredients and stuff, as all synthetic fertilizers uh, tend to do. We also wanted to send out a shout out and a thank you to Omnia for Zambia for not increasing their pricing too much. Yes, we know there's uh, global issues that are affecting things and things in farming and fertilizing so are about to get really crazy, but Omnia has given us a little bit of a breathing space before uh, the prices go up. Uh, like they have generally have across the market. So recently we shifted uh, to Omnia and uh, yeah, you could say we are doing Msela but uh, it, it's survival. This is money. This is business. This is little that you can do. You can't uh, buy from you know suppliers that are, have got higher prices at the time for a product that does a similar thing. You just move whichever way you go. It's the reality of it because the crop is here for five months and uh, we gotta keep feeding it all as it is. As many of you know, onion is a heavy feeder. It really requires a lot of different fertilizing uh, throughout its life cycle. So hey, the, the, the fertilizer cost is a major input uh, into the onion itself. Here's some more of the beautiful, beautiful red onion bulbs that we're seeing. Still need to do a bit of work to control the dumbo. And I think we're, we're happy with it. It's really given us some challenges as you saw in the video, but I think I'm quite proud of, of what we have here. So that's the story of this particular crop. Uh, the first batch of uh, red creole. It's about 0 0.2 uh, hectares. Uh, that's been here and it's given us a little bit of a challenge. But let's look back behind me here at block B. Block B is about to be direct seeded next week. So here we have block B, the remaining bits. Now when we define our blocks, we go clockwise. So we have, as I said earlier, A, B, C across there, and then D up there. So we are looking to do some direct planting uh, here. 
why are we doing direct planting because we're now in April coming into the end of April into May and we're looking at um, how long it's going to take for nursing nursery beds and then transplanting there's a lot of pluses and minuses between um, direct seeding and then uh, transplant uh, growing and there's no right and wrong answer it really depends on your ability and capability and what you really feel like it so we decided looking at our problems that we've had with um, nursery beds this year I think some of you may have seen the other video and it's just been a bit of a problem our mind it hasn't worked so we said we're at the stage now the rains are kind of ending now we want to do some direct planting let me say it now direct planting in rain season is problematic at its core the problem is the rains coming you might plant and then the rain comes and washes it away. So this one is where we're coming in to do more of the direct seeding uh, this coming week after Easter. And that's block C over there on that hill. That's got a little bit of history, which we won't talk about. And then this is block D. Some of you may remember, we had some eucalyptuses up over there, but we've now made the beds and they're good and ready. And we are looking forward to having a good crop here. So there you have it, the onion at Dubai. We've looked at the first block A and what was planted there, transplanted and where it came from and all the issues that we had. And then we've taken a very uh, quick look at the blocks behind me. Uh, this is C and on the other side of me is D. And we thank everybody for joining us here on the Mondo Farms channel. And we always ask, please um, comment on the video if you have something interesting to say or just a question to ask. Um, subscribe to the channel so that you always get alerts and you must make sure you press the ding button. And then like the video. Uh, that's the thumbs up button that you see there. And then also share uh, with some of your friends and family and other uh, colleagues who are interested in all the things that we do. The onion season here at uh, Mondo Farms has started and it hasn't been without its challenges but having made a decision strategically that onion is going to be uh, one of our major crops um, here on, at Winterthorn, we're basically pushing through and you know in farming as we say kukosa so we'll continue to share the story with you here on the Mondo Farms channel we always like to give you the good, the bad, the happy and the sad. Take care and see you soon. Bye bye.